Hi everybody, my name is Sage. Today I wanted to talk about how to create chatbots for your website, um, or really pretty much anywhere you want, uh, that reference your own documents. And um, they call that RAG, which is um, short for Retrieval Augmented generation basically you take a bunch of files you upload them somewhere and then you have an uh, a, a large language model like chat gpt or claude or somebody uh tell you about them and it's um it, it just allows you to access an ex external uh database and typically RAG, these retrieval augmented generation um, knowledge bases are uploaded to a vector database. And um, vector databases are great for this because they're great at semantic search. Meaning, if you say, how much does this cost? And you have a menu of things, it will know what you're talking about. Um, regular databases are not particularly good at that they're you know they're kind of one to one they're 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 like you know if you want to know the cost of something that database better tell you use the word cost and and vector databases are just better at this semantic um, search and so i've spent a lot of time fiddling in this space and um I'm, I'm making bots with, right now, uh, VoiceFlow, and they have an upload ability for uh, a knowledge base, a RAG uh, vector knowledge base. Uh, I believe they use QDRANT. Is that how you say that? Um, but they're very limited in the file types that you can upload, and so my experience has been that I'm not getting great results when I upload um, a knowledge base to the voice flow uh, knowledge base. And so I've been, um, what I've been doing is creating bots in uh, uh, FlowWise and uh, tying those to um, a Pinecone database. I tend to like Pinecone. Um, it's, I, I, I just like it. I like it better than QDRAN. I do. So, um, but today I was really enchanted by thinking about um, uploading a knowledge base in um, OpenAI, which is ChatGPT. And you can do the same thing. Then you can, what, if, you, if you create an assistant in ChatGPT, or I'm sorry, OpenAI, then you can embed that um, really anywhere. You could put it in, um, I just this morning I put it in uh, FlowWise, but then you could put it in BotPress or um, VoiceFlow. And I think you get better results. Um, personally, I like to upload content uh, in a, a JSON uh, format that tends to um, give me the best results. So, for example, this document right here, it was a spreadsheet, and I just I uploaded the CSV. You can't upload CSVs. That's the one downside. You can't upload a CSV file to um, the the vector database of um, OpenAI, but that was okay. I just uploaded it then to ChatGPT and told them to convert it to a JSON file. And then, so it was just a small little um, uh, database, you know? And so all this was is I'm trying to put tuition rates for a private school in, um, in, in a knowledge base. And so I converted it to um, a .json file, and it's producing awesome results. I, When in doubt, I like to upload things 
in JSON. So if I'm scraping a website, for example, in Appify, my preferred uh, method is to download it as, as a JSON file with the URL and the, and the text um, and then upload it into my RAG uh, knowledge base. But I wanted to show you um, kind of how this, how this works. So right now I'm at platform.openai.com uh, slash assistance. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an assistant here, okay? And um, we're just going to call it, uh, you know, Sp Spring Garden. This is Spring Garden Waldorf School. Spring Garden Waldorf School um, AI Bot. Now, the instructions are really important. And this is a whole video in itself. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can make these prompts, basically. But um, I'm just going to say something like, you are a knowledgeable, which I can't spell, assistant for Spring Garden Waldorf School, OK? It should be much more than that. But then you can come down here and you can pick your models. Um, so I'm going to use GPT-40. I love it. I love GPT-40. Uh, that is not how you spell knowledgeable, but that is. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use file search, okay? And um, you can see here you the max num results. This is the default is 5 for GPT-3, 5 turbo, and 20 for um, uh, GPT-4 models. I, 20's fine, 20's fine. And then you click um, files here and you can upload these files uh, this way. But I've been into this whole select a vector store thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going, did you see what I just did there? I clicked on vector store and then I clicked on vector stores here, okay? And it's taking me to this area. And then I'm going to create, create a vector store. All right. Um, and what I'm going to do here is refresh the screen because it's kind of acting wonky. And the first thing I might do is name it. So we'll just call it SGWS vector store. And then you come down uh, here and you can add files and you just click and upload them. And I'm, I have a handbook here. I have exported their website as um, a JSON file. And then I have that tuition document as a JSON file. And I'm uploading all of those, okay? And I'm attaching them. Um, I will say that I have been, I don't know if this, how much this changes things, but I have been doing, I've been chunking them 2,000 um, uh, tokens by two, by an overlap of 200 tokens. That's just larger segments that it's, it's eating basically and cutting it up as. Um, I, I don't know if it's better or not. I really haven't tested that, but that's what I've been doing. And so I attach it. And then it's just going in, and it has vectorized these um, uh, these files. Okay, so now I come back. Well, uh, sorry, you have to. Then you take this ID from this vector store, and you put it in here. And this is the vector store, and you select it. All right, and now you have this bot okay and you can configure things and that sort of thing but i just i'm gonna go to the playground here and i'm going to ask you know the only thing i'm going to ask is how much is it okay and i'm clicking run on the playground and the beauty of it is is it knows what i'm talking about you know i don't have to explain to it that um, I'm talking about Spring Garden Waldorf School. 
it knows that I'm talking about tuition. And here you can see these are the tuition numbers that are being pulled directly out of that um, JSON file. And in fact, when you get down to the bottom of this, it should reference this is it. Uh, you know, can you see that? It says, you know, it's pulling that right out of that JSON file. And then once you have an assistant, then you can do all kinds of things with it. Like I said, you can put it in BotPress, you can put it in FlowWise, you can put it in VoiceFlow. Um, and I'll probably make a video on how to do that, but there's countless videos on how to do that as well. So I um, highly recommend that you play around with assistance at the OpenAI platform. It is really cool. Um, and, uh, you know, basically just cuts out a, a step uh, so you're not having to set up another database, you know, you know like in Pinecone or QGrant or whatever. Um, you can just use, use this platform, and I, I feel like I'm getting really good results. All right, have a great day.